Yo, welcome to the interesting podcast with Jedi Brian number eight. Um, this episode was uh, originally going to be a, uh, a nerd bunny centric podcast, but uh, being that she was a guest, um, she was busy. So what uh, a friend and a friend and I did was took over her booth at PalmCon and uh, just started sort of interviewing everyone around us uh, until until she got there. So the first half of this is going to be a lot of. Um, people that we got together uh and then the second half is going to be Brittany, um who some of you might know as nerd bunny um one thing that we forgot to mention in the podcast because we were getting the wrap-up signal from uh the people who run palm con was uh i forgot to get her to plug herself so if you want to find her go to facebook.com slash the nerd bunny and you'll find links to all of her stuff there she's got instagram twitter twitch uh all kinds of social media and you can find her there but um, Brittany is awesome. I don't remember when we met, but I've known her for a little bit. I'm pretty sure it was at Animated Supercon or one of those. But Brittany is great. Um, I super appreciate uh, her coming on. I'm a big fan of her work. She um does a ton of stuff. She does uh, Katniss, which is my personal favorite, which you'll hear me talk about. She's a huge Sailor Moon fan. We talk about. Um, her going to Germany, why she hates seltzer water, a bunch of really fun stuff. Uh, but before that, um, one of my best friends, David, went to the con with me. So it was me and him sort of moderating what's going on. Then we grabbed uh, <laughs> Brittany's booth babe, Angelo. And we even got a little uh, tiny interview with Dustin from 0.3D, which uh, if you haven't heard of them yet, they do little um, 3D printed figures of cosplayers which is really, really, really cool. And they uh, they gave us a, a little gift. I got a Squirtle. It's amazing. And uh, my buddy David got Bulbasaur. Um, so definitely check them out as well on Facebook and I'm pretty sure Instagram and online and all. It's 0.3D. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this intro is already over two minutes long. So I'm just going to get right into it uh, with uh, episode eight, which I'm going to title PalmCon with all those people and stuff and i never know when to stop talking so boop I'm live, I'm live, and and I'm at I'm at PalmCon in Nerd Bunny's booth. I'm here with David. Say hi, David. Uh, hi. Well, David. We definitely David's here. David's like a friend of mine. But um, Nerd Bunny left her booth for about half an hour now. For about half an hour now, roughly. And and I'm at her booth now, all alone with her stuff. But yeah, so. Hi, David. Hey. Hey. How uh, you doing, man? It's been an interesting time. It has? It has? What's been your favorite part? Uh, Matthew Wood. Matthew Wood would be Matthew the best Wood. part. We met General Grievous. That was great. Uh, He's an awesome dude. He was not shy with uh, his um, General Grievous uh, lines at all. Oh, he said them in the panel? Oh, he said quite a bit. Oh, that's so... Did he sound like it? Well, uh, yes. Oh. Uh, the whole voice box part? Yeah. Yeah, he does that himself. Are you serious? It actually sounds like he has the whole thing. I'm sure they do more what? editing in the sound booth, which he actually does. But, uh, yes, that whole sounding like he has a voice box. Yeah, that's all him. That's amazing. Yeah. So he's like a legit voice actor. He is on it. He he was very what? hesitant to say that when we spoke. Yeah. But, no, he is legit. What? So it was all it was all humility. He's like... Yeah, I, I do that, but what I really do is this. No, you, you really do that. I don't That's think you realize so cool. how good this is. Because I knew it was a sound editor. I did not know he'd... I assumed, because you hear General Grievous' voice, and it's like, you know, I'm not going to imitate it because I can't do it. But it's very much like you would think, you know, they, he said the lines and then they mixed it somehow to make it sound like General Grievous, but it's his voice. That's crazy. Yes, it, it, and of course, there is some, but I was in that room. 
Oh. I know what I heard. What? And he is very good. That's so cool. He did a lot of the uh, uh, androids as well. Sweet, and, sweet. of course, the Roger Roger is all him. Right. That's right. all him. He did it a lot. I say that in texts. <laughs> when people, like, when I confirm stuff. Uh-huh. When I go to this, I always text back Roger Roger. Uh, Nobody yeah. gets it. But I get With it. It's sad. It's yeah. sad. Such because it's on the it. rise. So, I'm like, how can you not get it right? now? Come on. Come on, for real. Have you seen Clone Ten Wars? Ten years ago. Okay. All right. right. You didn't get it. But right now, it's on the rise. Come on. You need to know Come this. Come on, son. But yeah, so it's been a, it's been a great time. I'm uh, I'm an Imperial crewman right now. I hung out at the 501st booth for quite a bit. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Was that was time. the first uh, booth that was hijacked. Correct, correct. I um, woo. Uh, we saw our friends at 0.3D. Mm-hmm. Shout outs to them. And uh, yeah, we're just hanging out at uh, Nerd Bunny's booth. I'm looking at a Kigurumi of an. Mm, what would you say that is? Is that a raccoon? Uh, no, I I think it's a, uh, yeah, yeah, a raccoon. Looks like a raccoon. Yeah, there's cookies here. I'm not going to eat them because I'm a good person. Uh-huh. Uh, Brittany, they are for sale, feels, though. They are for sale. Indeed, if you're, well, no, this isn't live. Nope, nope, sorry. Oh, man. Only slightly. Only slightly live. Because yeah. we are here, and we you will not hear it until true. whenever that happens. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, if, uh, if Brittany were here, I would... I'd, yeah, I yeah, totally she, she's gone, time. and he's been derailed. So there's, a, there's an apocalypse here, like a literal apocalypse from the X Men, not like the end of everything. And he and is he very good. Awesome. I'm he pretty sure it's I forget his last name, but it's Aaron something. I hope it's Aaron. He also does an Ultracon. Ultracon. He does an Ultracon. <laughs> he does an Ultracon. Does he do it at his house? He <laughs> <laughs> Ultracon is him. No, he, he does a um, Ultron gotcha. that he made for Geek Fest. Uh huh. Which was really good. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's oh fun. Yeah. PalmCon's nice. Yeah, yeah. This is only your second convention? Uh, of, of this sort, yes. Of this because sort, yeah. remember, Playlist Live was my actual first convention. You're right. But of comic books and everything pop culture, yes, this would be my second one. I would consider Playlist Live more of a conference. Yeah, that makes sense because it's a it's a just a there's not a whole lot to buy besides t-shirts. There is absolutely nothing to buy, and there's no t-shirts. panels. Well, there's kind of pan- it's more like shows. Yes, they put a show on for the people. Yeah, so and I that's would about say, it. I would say uh, that playlist live is a conference. It's a con. So your first con was Fanboy Expo. Yes, yes. And now we're at PalmCon. What yep. do you like about PalmCon as like a semi new con goer? Um. As opposed to Fanboy? Okay, yes. Uh, or just in general? Well, just in general with uh, PalmCon, uh, there's a lot of room to walk. Yes. Like, there, you're not Cramped. like inside a section and you can't walk. If you're claustrophobic, Fanboy Expo would have not been fun for you. Yeah, it was a lot of people. Lots of They fit a lot of booths into a very tiny space. Whereas yeah. here, at least the hallways are massive. Yeah, I, I, in this in this aspect, it's more of a quality over quantity, and I prefer that. Agreed. Because there's, Agreed. Le- I would say, that looks like there's less because there's a big, such a big space. Right. But uh, this has a whole Batmobile in the corners. It does. This has a hearse for some reason. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is that from? I, I, oh, I, it's, I, wait. Covet I, the moon. If I'm reading wow, that right. your vision is phenomenal. Yeah, it's co- uh, Covet the Moon. Yeah. I do not know what that is. I don't either. I've never heard of it, but it involves a hearse. Shout uh, out to Covet the Moon. And I think at least one unhappy person. At least. At least. At least one, uh, or at least one formerly unhappy person. Yes. <laughs> 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 and we've got, of course, the Ghostbusters. 0.3D. Come here. Oh, 0.3D has uh, just walked by. we got our buddy at uh, 0.3D. Say hello. Hello, everybody. This is uh, this actually my podcast. And we're in the middle of filming. And I just got done giving you guys a shout-out. I was like, our peeps over at 0.3D. So uh, if you got a second, you got a second? Sweet. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Introduce yourself. My name is Dustin. I work at 0.3D. And Dustin is super awesome. Actually, whoop, you get your own mic now. Okay. Now, Dustin, what is 0.3D? Uh, 0.3D is a 3D scanning service devoted to cosplay in the cosplay community. We... We do scans at shows, comic book con- conventions, uh, places like the Cloak and Dagger or Player One video game bar in Orlando. If you're familiar with those places, Sweet. we set up and scan there. Um, 
the idea kind of came around from three years ago when we were cosplaying and we saw a guy doing it at a Maker Faire spinning people by hand. Oh, and we're what? like, we, we, can't, we, could, we could do that. Yeah, right. So uh, I kind of developed into that, and now we kind of focus only on the cosplay community because people build these wonderful and amazing costumes, and they spend thousands of dollars and thousands of blood, sweat, and tear hours in these outfits, and true. it's a one-off. It's $25,000 to get your own true action figure made for right. just the mold. Uh, true. So here's a very... Not so expensive option right. to get a custom little thing of the outfit you put so much time into. That's awesome. And they are 3D printed? They are 3D printed. They're made out of a uh, ceramic-like material powder. And the powder is actually white, and the glue is multicolored, and that's how you get the color in the print. Oh, I never knew that. That's yes. actually super cool. Yep. Um, what cons are you going to in the future from now? Uh, right now, officially, we are booked for Animate Miami, Magic City, MegaCon Fan Days, nice, uh, Wizard World New Orleans, and MegaCon next year. Wizard World New Orleans. Yes, that's our that's our oh favorite show. Really? Um, Why so? Well, aside from the business aspects, of course. the 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 whole aura of new orleans is just a good show it's neat um and then going out afterwards to bourbon street of course of course but, um we've just always had a good time in new orleans the people are great the cosplayers are great um and that's just that's kind of our favorite show to do as the business our, our personal favorite show the one we don't vend at is of course dragon con so gotcha i have yet to go to either i've been to new orleans but not as a con I would strongly recommend it. Um, if we didn't vend at it, we would seriously go for fun. Um, yeah. It's a massive convention center. It's it's a lot like MegaCon, but on a smaller scale. Oh, okay. It's uh, and MegaCon's then of course you packed. have y yeah, <laughs> but it's not packed, which is nice. Right. And it's in a good time of year where you're not dying in any outfit. It's nice and cool in New Orleans, so right. you can wear any outfit and just be completely comfortable all day so gotcha yeah that is cool it is now uh i have to bring it up your arm looks broken uh, <laughs> actually there's th yeah i have three broken bones right now three yeah uh, i broke my arm once in three places because i was running in a construction site and tripped oh what man. did you do <laughs> i actually got hit on my motorcycle by oh. another car and uh well yeah that in that case uh, look twice for motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of motorcycle do you ride? It was a 2010 Honda Triumph 1600 Thunderbird. Nice. Yeah, big old, big old cruiser. Did it make it? It made it. It's in the shop right now. Um, cool. Don't know if I'll get back on it in the city. Uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame yeah, you at all. It might be an out of town kind of thing only from now yeah. on. So. I live in Naples, which is like the worst drivers ever because they're all old people that right. are like dying. Yeah. And uh, the same thing. I was like, oh, I have a bike. Mm, maybe I'm not going to ride it during season at all. Right. <laughs> yeah. So. Gotcha. How long How long have you been in the cast? Looks uh, pretty fresh. It was two weeks on Thursday. You know, four more to go? I got four more to go, exactly. <laughs> Does it itch? No, I can actually take it out. Um, it, it was just the collarbone, scapula, and a rib. Ooh. All three bones in the body, which can't be casted. Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, oh, I man. actually take it out and do like the the circles. Oh, okay. And right. um, when I'm eating, I'll, right. I'll take it out. And uh, I mean, it's just a sling. They can't cast it, so. Right. The sling keeps movement from happening right. as much. Yeah. It's good thinking. Good yeah. thinking. Sweet man. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. Hey, no That's problem. Awesome. Thanks I for, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for dragging me out of the crowd. Yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll have you back on. Get better. And David's back. Hello again, people. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For those that obviously can't see, um, <laughs> he was walking by, and I literally just grabbed him from the crowd. I was like, get over here. Because if you don't know, 0.3D is way cool. Yeah. I highly recommend you check them out. Um, quite a few cosplayers um, that I know personally have gotten their little uh, figures. They're very neat. Um, so, yes, 0.3D. Check them out. David... Hey, I've I've seen those figures. It's first time being here. They're they're pretty cool. Right, right. I did. I had no idea that the glue was colored. The statue itself is white. 
Yeah, the only the only reason I even knew that is because I was sitting there staring at it <laughs> the entire time you were speaking to him earlier. <laughs> so that's the only reason that wasn't news to me, because eyes locked. Like, right. what is what is this? I don't know how this works, and I must find out. <laughs> oh, 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 what? For those for He's those of us oh who cannot goodness. see, which is everyone except for me and Brian. Squirtle's he just came back Pokemon. with a Squirtle Look and him. Bulbasaur 3D print. What? Little model. I'm they looking, are amazing. I am looking at a Squirtle 3D printed. It looks so cool. What? But, uh, yeah, so PalmCon's been fun. Um, we're actually... We're actually next to Varen, I believe is pronounced. Um, but I'm gonna have her. I'm gonna have her. No tea. I'm gonna have her as a guest later on. But just know, I'm looking into the future right now. Um, All we would have to do is jump over this little bar, <laughs> and then she's in. Exactly. <laughs> but I, uh, I definitely gotta get her her own podcast. You know, it's only been 13 minutes. In 45 seconds. Interesting happens fast. It really does. It really does. Hi, Angelo, Nerd Bunny's booth, babe. How are you? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. That's good. I really like your Marty McFly cosplay. Thank you. Uh, I was deciding to do it because since uh, the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future is coming out, and they, if you ever watch uh, Back to the Future 2, they actually go to 2015. That's right. That's right. Spot on job. I love it. Thank you. I see you got the hoverboard. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Right Fantastic. So um, which one's your favorite? Uh, out of all. Out of all the Back to the Futures. Back to the Future. I think the, I would say the first one. First one's uh, amazing. Original because, you know, he went back and you saw, like, how his life, how how his life is. And you, you originally see how why he's the way he is. You see it through the parents and you hear the stories like when people tell you like, oh, this happened because of this and that and you kind of, right. well, you follow that path. That's true. It's a good solid movie. Exactly. I I like all three of them. I guess I like all three of them because the first one's great. Second one, they go to the future. I mean, come on. You got to go back to That's the future. True. But uh, the third one with the Old West, I really liked it. I know a lot of people didn't, but I thought it was pretty great. That's true. I mean, I remember as a kid watching it in the movie theater, and I was waiting for it when part two said to be concluded. I was like, oh. Right. Oh, and how many, you say we only and got you one think more. about the days when it's not like a year or two years later you wait for the sequel. No, it's like almost five years later just to watch the sequel. Good Lord. That's like waiting for a George R. R. Martin book. Exactly. It'd take forever. Did you see Jurassic World? No, I haven't seen Jurassic World. but Oh, it's real good. I remember what, not seeing Jurassic Park in the movie theater, so <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. I will watch it when it comes out on Blu-ray because it's what I do. I, whatever movie I wanted to watch on the movie theater, if I don't watch it, I will catch it on Blu-ray. I love Blu-ray. Blu-ray is so good. And now that's really cheap, depending on where you get them. I and mean, if you buy them brand new, they're like $25. True. I get or mine. I go to like pawn shops. They're oh, like okay. $5. I usually get mine when it first comes out release. Smart. No, it's good. It feeds back into the entertainment machine. I yeah. respect that. Also, you kind of, like, depending on where you buy it, either Walmart or Target or Best Buy, they also have, like, uh, different exclusive editions You're right. that sells it. Example, like, Best Buy had the Steelbook edition of all the Fast and Furious. Right. That's becoming a new thing now. And if I'm not sure if anybody knows that, when Star Wars comes out, actually not the, the Star, the re-releasing Star Wars in a separate steelbook for each episode in November. Oh man, I already own like five copies of each movie. Now I'm gonna own six. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get all six also oh, because each so much. each steelbook is a different character. So it's like that's, that's a collector cool. right there. That's cool. And uh, from what I heard also is that the rumor was that they're gonna re-release the first three episodes. The first three episodes that came, ever came out in the, in the original format. I did see that. Before the special effects. I did edition. see that. Do you do you agree that uh, they were better before? Did you see them before and did you yes, see them? Yes, I remember yeah. watching them as the, before the changes. Um, I can understand why they did the little changes. Right. The, right. the transition was pretty good. Sometimes you, you don't need it. I right. I but agree. But 
I thought they were pretty great. They were the pretty great, as, as, as originally done with right. the, I guess what they call the director's cut. Sure. And But I can see it's good as it is. Right. But to make the little changes, sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not, depending on the movie itself. Right, right. I agree. I, I was just listening to a podcast last night, actually, and they were talking about, um, actually, this exact thing. They're talking about John Landis was saying, oh, they're going to re-release him. And they says he was talking to George Lucas about it. And he said, ultimately, somebody asked John Landis, if you could go back and change one of your movies, like George Lucas did, would you? And he's like, well, first off, uh, they won't let me. That's the biggest difference is George Lucas owns his movies. Yeah. So he's like, they won't let me. But if I did, he says, I think George Lucas heard his movies by doing so. But they're his movies. Like, he can kind of do what he wants. You know, so it's kind of back and forth. Yeah. I like Star Wars. If it's Star Wars, I like it. <laughs> oh, I love Star Wars. Yeah. That and Lord of the Rings. Oh, dude, don't even get me started. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite character? Uh, I'm going to get me started. <laughs> On Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah. I would say Aragorn. Same, same. Dude, Only Aragorn's reason, the best. Because, uh, I kind of relate to the character because... You are the rightful king of Gondor? No, not just that. <laughs> no, it was that... I don't know if you remember, is that he didn't want... To hold the ring because oh, I remember. he knew that his ancestry was the one who started the yep, whole way back to a seal exactly. door. Exactly, yep. his, his ancestor was the one who kept the ring and like let the whole world fall into darkness like that. And that was his thing. He didn't want to have the burden that he wanted to live in the shadow yep. far away. That's why he was uh, called um, Strider. Yep. Became a ranger, lived in the north. So cool. So cool. That's actually my favorite scene of the first movie is when Frodo offers him the ring and yeah. then he just closes it and he's like, run, turns around and there's an army of Urukai. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But also, it's throughout the movie, even like in the first one, like he explains to Arwen when he was, uh, when they showed the shards of Narsil yep. on the in Rivendell, that he puts it back and he, Arwen's like, you know, you're not Isildur, but he says to, to her, it's like, you know, I have the same blood, yep. and the same, uh, you, you know. Yeah, it's like, how can you know? And when, what's this, Elrond gives him the sword of the king in the third movie, you know. He tells him He tells him, you know, I still have faith for uh, all of men. But he said, I don't keep none for myself. Because he knows that if he did have the ring, he would become... Right, and he would be the one to bring it back into darkness. I love Lord of the Rings so much. Did you see The Hobbits? Yes, I've Did you like them? I like The Hobbits. Me too. I liked them all. I thought they were great. I think the best battle was the Battle of the Five Armies. That was fantastic. And I loved uh, them escaping from the goblins. Yes. That whole back and forth, how they got out was beautiful. Gandalf showing up. Oh, so good. So Uh, good. It's so good about some of the prequels. You could see where a lot of stuff came from. Ex- exactly. The little things explain it. And also, that's one thing about the Lord of the Rings I like about it. It's like when they did the extended edition, it explained a lot of little things. Like oh, yeah. They found out about Aragorn's age. Right. Or uh, where Thrain went. Yeah. You know, you find out where Thorin's dad was. Exactly. Crazy. Craziness. I love the extended editions. They're like, they're, it's an extra hour, so it feels like a totally different movie. Yeah, that's true. But... It explains the little things about the story that tit facts and most people would not understand about movies. Because if you watch a lot of movies, you go through a whole scene it's like, why did this happen? Or then there was no explanation. It's just like a rush. Right. But, and that's what's so great about those movies. It explains a lot to it. Absolutely. Especially if you're going to be a big, when you're a big fan. Right. For sure. So being that we've hijacked Nerd Bunny's, uh, booth and stuff how'd you come to know her uh i found her through uh, actually through other cosplayers nice and she was local and you know what i started following uh, cosplayer community and you know what cool i understand their artistry and it's something you know like i respect it and you know sure and it's south florida you know you gotta for sure feed the community with positivity i completely agree What's your favorite cosplay of hers? Uh, like different cosplayers? Or of, like of hers specifically, only because I'm surrounded by prints of hers. Wow, that's, she has so many great ones. <laughs> I know, I know. Mine is either Videl, which she's currently wearing, yes. or Katniss. 
I Katniss really like Katniss. Katniss. That's a badass looking Actually, cosplay. Actually, uh, I did like her Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen's fantastic. It was uh, something new and like this whole new world I didn't even know about. True. Then I started reading up, up on it, and it's like, wow, this is an interesting storyline. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Angelo, Booth, babe, thanks for uh, chatting no on the podcast. Why not? Thank and you. Uh, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Brittany's here. She finally showed up. <laughs> Can I cuss on here? Yeah, you say what you want. It's Brittany, bitch. Yeah, yeah. You gotta say it like a valley girl, though. That's Brittany, bitch. There it is. It's so good. So good. Oh, we've so good. we've interviewed like everyone around your booth. And now you get to interview me. And now I get to interview you. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. So cool. <laughs> Elf. <laughs> gross. <laughs> yeah, good gross. <laughs> So what's up? You're at PalmCon. That's cool. PalmCon 2015. 2015. The date's important. The I date is important. Year. Wasn't there a con animate? Wasn't there two animates last year? Or no. this year? Just one. There were two of one con either last year or this year. It was you like know, that's always con? possible. I kind of feel <laughs> like sometimes people forget and then they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. About everything. Everything. So it's very possible that two conventions could happen in one year. No, 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 I meant like the same convention happened twice in a year. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Like a promoter being like, two cons, one year. Yes. If I was here in 2014. Oh, what do you think? It's gotten bigger since last year. Slightly. Not the venue, but the people, I think. Do you think? Slightly. Slightly. Slightly bigger. No. Am I remembering it smaller? It's similar to me. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's year five. Is it really? Yep. Year five. Hmm. I Their like logo it. was a, a hand showing five fingers with a palm in the middle. That's this year's logo? Hong Kong, yeah. That wasn't last year's logo? You know, it might have been last year's logo. That might be their all the time you logo. Know what? Uh, branding. It's a good idea. It really yeah. is. And it's all also like a double thing, like a palm on a palm. Oh. The palm of the hand with a palm I tree on it. I didn't even realize that. Whoa. <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah. So you're a guest here. That's cool. I am. That's really cool. Have you yeah. enjoyed your stay? I have a lot. The people have been super nice. I met a lot of awesome, cool people here. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool, cool. You sold a lot of prints? I sold prints. What's a popular print? My Zatanna. Yeah, with the cards? It's very popular. With the cards, also people like the one where I'm just flashing my stuff on my wand. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flashing Zatanna stuff equals monies, from what I know Yeah. about the world. Also, my uh, Spider Gwens. Spider Gwen is a very popular thing at the moment. We and had uh, your booth babe on earlier. He likes your Spider Gwen. My booth babe. Oh yes, Angelo. Angela. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we talked about your favorites and uh, our our favorites of your work. I What's your favorite, Brian? Katniss. Your Katniss is so good. <laughs> but <laughs> you're make me cry. but there was another. Oh, and Videl. Those are it. But Katniss you're wearing Videl right now. So cry. I am wearing Videl. Yeah, you're wearing Videl right now. People just think I'm in a white t-shirt and they're like this is really boring of you to just show up in regular clothes when you're a guest and you I'm should like, be actually, like you don't even like Dragon Ball Z do you see the fighting gloves Get I'm out. here to party yeah right yeah. <laughs> just bring up the button really quick and while they're looking down hit them in the face yeah be like do you know who I am now hoo-ha hoo-ha <laughs> yeah charge for two episodes and then hit them yeah that's what, that's the Dragon Ball Z rule of on the next episode thumb. of Nerd Bunny, the uh, interesting podcast with Jedi Brian. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 I'll just get a loop of you yelling <laughs> as if you're going Super Saiyan and put it at the end on the next episode of the interesting podcast. <laughs> 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 but then that'll turn into Link. All oh of yeah. my charging <laughs> sounds sound like that. <laughs> hurt. That. <laughs> smash. <Hey>. Yeah, smash. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. I hate that fairy hey, so listen. so much hey, listen. because she always tells you at the worst possible time when you're trying to concentrate or yeah. she does it look out <laughs> right after you die <laughs> awful navi come on yeah or better get out yeah we don't want you here no don't come at all yeah stay stay or where leave. you are get 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 now hey get yeah <laughs> Were you at a con recently? Space Coast. I was at several cons recently. Several. You're all over the place. I really am. How at do this point. How do you like that? I you like, like being a, a busy cosplayer. Yeah. I like traveling. It's cool. I like enjoying cosplay? cosplaying. I like meeting new people, and it all gets to come together when I go to different conventions. That's pretty cool. I love it. When did you start going to conventions? Uh, I started. I actually went to um, a couple conventions before my first cosplay. Okay. And I did sort of closet cosplays. Actually, uh, one was of Videl. Oh, that works. Hey. 
because I had my hair dyed black at the time, and I just put it in pigtails, and I wore a white shirt. That works. And I was, like, walking around like, I feel unrecognizable. <laughs> and now that you're not wearing that, you're like, hey, listen, I've grown. Yeah, so now, now like, why are you wearing I'm a white shirt? I'm wearing a more legit version, and people are still like, why are you just wearing a white T-shirt? <laughs> you get no, no recognition. No recognition about well, that's not true. There's some people who do recognize it and really, really enjoy it, like I do. I love Videl. She's, she's my favorite cool. female Dragon Ball Z character. Yeah? She's cool. The other one's Gohan. And the fact that they had a baby Gohan's together is your like other I'm favorite all about female it. character? I ship it. You ship it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm for it. I'm for it. Uh, absolutely. So, wha- so Videl was your first cosplay then? Um, Sailor Moon was my first cosplay. Oh, you like Sailor Moon? I love Sailor is Moon. Is Sailor Moon your favorite? Sailor Moon is my favorite. Cool, cool. Cause I know people Out love of all Sailor my cosplay, Moon, but you then mean? no, it's like from Sailor Moon. I know some people like oh, Sailor Moon. Well, Sailor I Mars. am Sailor Moon. That would make sense why she's your favorite then. Yeah. So, what's your favorite cosplay of your own? That's really hard because it always feels like when I do one, it becomes my new favorite. I get this question a lot, and I'm like, all of them. Yeah. That's why I wear them. Yeah. You know, we're allowed to be multifaceted people. Yeah. Multidimensional. So then, I guess, I guess the better question to ask would be, which one do you enjoy wearing the most? I really, I was really excited to wear a Videl today because, like yeah. I said, it's a white Comfy. tee and right. sports shorts. Although these these boots that I have, I really like them a lot because they look like her shoes, and her shoes are weird. Right. They're like uh, They're green, like greenish, moony, strappy, boots. moony boots. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I have a way with words. And they have a heel built into them because they're like those high top sneakers oh. that I refashioned. Nice. So they're like a secret heel. People don't know how. I'm uncomfortable because they have a, a height to them. Oh, uh, they're gotcha. They're, they're like disguised. a hidden pain. A hidden pain. Yeah, that's deep, isn't it? It really is. Take that to your cosplay bank or and something. And cry yeah. with it. I feel you. My cabbage cart is really heavy. Yeah. I should have made it out of lighter wood. I and didn't. everyone's like, why don't you have it all the time? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How dare you not have it? You've seen it, what, three times since we've been here? Hey, you're the cabbage cart, right? Where, where are the cabbages at? Yeah. I don't know. At Publix, probably. <laughs> before before anyone even says hi to you, they're it's like, true. wait, where are your cabbages? It's true. Which is a double-edged sword, because in one regard, I'm extremely surprised they recognize me outside of the thing. I'm extremely flattered that they enjoy it enough to ask about it. But at the same time, I, I'm called Jedi Brian. Right. <laughs> Multifaceted. Multifaceted. Multidimensional. Multidimensional. Multi-cosplays. That. Yep. Yeah. So Videl is your favorite to wear. Hmm. One of them? Yeah, one for of them. sure. All right. Better question. Which one is not your favorite to wear? My least favorite to wear? Correct. Um, right. I've only worn Katniss once to a photo shoot with David. Yeah. And I haven't worn it again because the armor on it yeah. has a lot of straps, and it's hard to strap myself into it. Uh, once you're into it, are you okay? Once I'm into it, I'm nervous the straps are going to burst if I move certain ways. Uh. So I really need to reinforce it better before I wear it to a convention. I actually plan to wear it... Um, Perhaps Wizard World next weekend, so I'll be working on oh, that. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Are you excited for Wizard World? Oh, yeah. Have you sure. been to a Wizard World before? No, this would be my first. And I I'm haven't a guest been there. there. Oh, that's a big deal. It is. That's I feel like thing. it is. What was the first convention you were ever a guest at? The first convention I was ever a guest at, I believe that would be Palm Con, but I wasn't technically a guest. I was a representative for SuperCon at the time. Oh, they okay. had a booth, and I was boothing for them. So I got to Gosh. sell my prints and stuff. I had, like, two at the time last oh, okay. year. Right. I've really done a lot in a year. Oh, I know. Here. You blew up. I realized. Actually, I've noticed something. I mean, maybe Heroes of Cosplay is definitely a factor. I said maybe is definitely. Uh, Heroes of Cosplay is definitely a factor, but I've noticed in the last, like, year, maybe two, cosplay has just blown up as right? a, a thing. You know what I mean? Like Liz? Massive, you know. I met Liz, uh, Leaping Lizard cosplay. For right. those who listen, I met her at SuperCon last year. She only had eight thousand followers in a year. She's what thirty plus. Right. You know, everyone. It's just become a thing now, which is yeah. I, I think it's pretty cool. It is. You know, it's a fun thing to do. Super cool because I really enjoy it, and I like when other in people share in joy. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude. Camaraderie. I'm for it. Oh yeah. There's so much like garbage in the world it's like just do something fun that's and right. like make people smile that's right that's the best part of the cabbage merchant cosplay you know with great power comes re- great responsibility yeah that's what i've heard and so you should enjoy cosplay yeah right because <laughs> you have a responsibility 
because you no no like it because you <laughs> Just like exactly it. how like that it. was yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't look beneath the curtain <laughs> <laughs> yeah nothing to see here folks just yeah, have fun <laughs> with great with great fun come come comes good times yeah <laughs> With cosplay comes the force, and it's with you, so have fun. Yep. Nerd bunny. <laughs> Stamped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so who are some of your favorite cosplayers? My favorite cosplayers. Ooh. All right, and that's a good question. Obviously, I love my friends. Did you love them before they were your friends? Um, Ooh, actually, some <laughs> some of my friends I've met through cosplay. Others I knew before it. Yeah. For instance, Danica. I'm, I knew her... Actually, we met on Halloween in 2010 or 11. Wow. And so we met in costume, but before <laughs> either of us knew what cosplay was. That so is like, that's a movie. I know. That's it's a like movie foreshadowing, somewhere. right? Yeah. It's so like, we were friends. you do like the mean girls of cosplay. Because that's the only thing I can think of with a girl cast. That's sad, Brian. Yeah. I need to yeah, that's pretty bad. learn you on some things. So that's the only girl movie you know of. Although it's yeah. a good girl movie. Yeah, I like Mean Girls, I'll be honest. It's a you good Googling one. You Coco. That's right. It's because it was it. written by Tina Fey, and she's boss. It. Actually, if you want to get technical, I liked Pitch Perfect. I'll go on the record and say it. I haven't seen it. It's a cappella. If you like it, you might like it. I'm it might be a will. bad movie. I just enjoyed it. I probably will like it. I like both of them. Let's, let's out myself on my own podcast. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't like the second one, because I heard it's good. Yeah? And Did you hear you like the, the first, first one's one. not good? No, I heard the first one's very good. It's been okay. recommended to me. I like them both. Yeah. But I like music. I play music. I play a lot awesome. of instruments. So, good music. I like Multi-dimensional. 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 Yeah. That's Multi-talented. <laughs> you need to make a bumper sticker. <laughs> 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 multi-dimensional. Multi-faceted. <laughs> Multi-whatever that last one is. <laughs> cosplays. Well, that one was multi-talented, but before Talented. it was multi-cosplays. Multi-cosplays. Nerd Bunny. Yeah. If that's a bumper sticker, I will put it somewhere. Multi-cosplays. Nerd multi-cosplays Bunny. by Nerd Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the title of your book. Yeah. My fight, your fight, our fight, cosplays, nerd bunny. I don't really feel like I have one defining cosplay yet. No, I definitely do. <laughs> you do. You really do. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing for me. I just keep doing them and people are like, cool, what's next? Cool, what's next? That's cool, good. what's next? As opposed to like, sweet. And then it just dies. No, but wait, what happened to the one? Yeah. yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah. That's not Katniss. That's not Katniss. <laughs> I do plan on doing more Katniss. Yeah? Look forward to that. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. You excited for the new Hunger Games? I'm so excited. I read all the books in three days. Three books, three days. I did it in five days. That's right. Yeah, my you girlfriend read done. them in three. Monday, she started Friday, finished Monday. Yeah. God, girls just read faster than guys. I was committed. Like I read yeah. it, um, and I read the first and second one, and then I was on either at the end of the second one or the beginning of the third book, and I had to go to a party for New Year's, and I was oh, like, nice. "I'm sorry, everyone, <laughs> I gotta go." Pan Am is in trouble. I don't I have was time like, for your rituals. I have to go rituals. figure out <laughs> how Katniss is. I have to go check on Katniss. I gotta go. <laughs> What's your favorite book of the three? My favorite book. I mean, obviously, number two was yeah. really exciting in a in a terrifying way, like yeah. scarifying. Yeah, I um, like that word, scarifying. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's a good one. Also, nerd bunny. I'm just gonna make a yeah, page of your nerd quotes. Bunny. That one's not <laughs> multi talented, multi scarifying nerd bunny. <laughs> multi scarifying. <laughs> People are gonna be like, oh my. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't know we what I want. We didn't know this much about her. <laughs> Why is the bunny scary? <laughs> I am the captain now. Nerd Bunny sounds so cute. Why is her butt showing and why is she scarifying? <laughs> Where are those ribbons coming from? <laughs> <laughs> this is um, all cosplay references. I yeah. have a lot of mod- modeling photos with my booty out. And it's also true. the ribbons refers to one of my Sailor Moon prints. Correct. Yes. If you're listening, I'm assuming you know who Nerd Bunny just is. Just to paint you a picture. If since not, this is just go voices. check out the actual picture on storeenvy.nerdbunny.com. Nerd Bunny the nerdbunny.storeenvy.com. That's what I that's what I meant when I said it's a it. weird one. Yeah, it is a weird one. Mine I, I opened a print store because a bunch of people asked me to and yeah. I was like, "Why? Do I it. haven't sold a single print in like 6 months." And so you I'm pushed like it? I'm like giving them away now. Yeah. I was you like, "Hey, who wants pictures it? of them?" I did for a bit, yeah. On Instagram and Twitter and all that. And then I realized, "Why do I want to picture myself?" So I just like I made <laughs> I made plushy cabbages. Yeah. Those sold. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah." yeah. So I ordered all these pictures of myself because like, I don't want I don't want to picture myself. So now I have a bunch. I'm running a contest right now. I was like, hey, check out these prints. They're awesome. Comment and you might win. 
There's going to be like five people that are winning. <laughs> Just to like get rid of some. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. To I want to spread the cabbage. Yeah, into the cabbage. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. It's a good time. I enjoy it. Absolutely. What's your favorite part about cosplaying? My favorite part about cosplaying is becoming the character in a way. Ah, I'm with you there. Because I love all the characters I've done. I have like a like a deep, 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 deep love. So deep. So deep. All the deep. For a lot of the characters I've done, most of them I either like or love yeah. or am passionately in love with. Right. Um, I don't do things just because. I'm like, oh, there. I know this print will sell, and no, I don't do that. Right. I haven't dipped into that territory. That's good. Um, <laughs> Keep I have that my booty picks for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I do those because those are fun, too. Absolutely. Um, do you, girl? Yeah. So I, I love the characters, or maybe I'm really fascinated by a character design of one of the characters that I love, but maybe That's a good one. blah, blah, blah. So when I do it... I like to make it theatrical in a way. I like I'm to with embody you. the character. I do a lot of acting stuff, so yeah. I'm with you. Me too. I also like to be uh, I like to be different with mine, as you can probably tell. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen very I've many cabbage seen mentions. Zero other cabbage <laughs> people. I don't think they would even dare at this point. Yeah, yeah. I ran into one at MegaCon this year, and I was like, oh "Your wow. card is so good," and I just like fanboyed over his card. I was like, "I didn't bring mine because it's heavy," but wow, you're so good. I love that that yeah. kind of attitude because there's some people who feel like territorial and like Ooh, they own yeah. a character you th that's the thing people don't talk about when you're like i'm gonna start like put some effort into this cosplay they don't tell you there is a dark underbelly there are some dark underbellies there's some stuff you know you know, <laughs> you know who warned me about that who? danica danica the second i like i mean i don't even know if you could say it but the second i like blew up from the cabbage merchant right? like just people knew who i was yeah. she's like Mm, you are not ready. I was like, what do you mean? It's, it's always fun. She goes, oh, it can get not fun real fast. It can. <laughs> it, c it can turn into a contest and like some, a really yeah. mean-spirited yeah, fashion show. Yeah, somebody asked me earlier, um, like, what is cosplay bullying? Is, is it real or something like that? I was like, oh, for sure. Absolutely. There's bullying in any sort of network. Sure, absolutely. Any sort of any community. community. Um, and so in the cosplay community, the only difference is, is that we're in costumes. True. It doesn't really mask who a person really is. I completely agree. Um. So there are some people who bully, and it's not cool. Agreed. It's not okay. And some of that has to do with insecurity. Absolutely. And some of it has to do with, like I said, people feeling territorial over the costume. Right. And feeling like they are that character. Like, I am the Sailor Moon. I might say I am Sailor Moon, but that doesn't mean that I don't get really excited to see other people in Sailor Moon costumes. Right, absolutely. Because I don't own that character. It's because you're a decent person. <laughs> and I also love the fandom. Same, same. I'm with you. So I get really excited when I meet other people who are interested in what I'm interested in. For sure. Because then I can nerd out with them about, like, the, the two prints I have that David did, the one with the angel wings and then the one with the ribbons. Yeah, yeah. Those are from very iconic scenes in the anime. And people uh, who know the series will recognize it. Gotcha. And then they'll understand the emotion behind it, and then we cry together. I feel you. That's yeah. me anytime on the Cabbage Merchant. Right? Because I, I remember, I've told this story before on the podcast, um... The, the first time I ever did it, I didn't think anyone was going to know who I was because I was like, it's he doesn't even have a name. He's called the Cabbage Merchant in the <laughs> credits. I was like, he's this running joke. I had just seen Avatar for the first time. I was like, I'm just going to dress up as him. If anybody knows who I am, I'm good. And literally everybody knew. And I was <laughs> like, oh, what? Yeah. So I had this thing where, like, I love Avatar. And now anyone who notices me, we have that moment. Of like, right? oh, I know who you are. And, you know, you know it's, it's fun. Like, Exactly, exactly. That's the thing. Cosplay's fun. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun, for sure. When it gets not fun, you need to reevaluate yeah. yourself. Yeah. Because you know? at the end of the day, we're all just dressing in costumes. It's like you're still a nerd in a costume. And if you're not a nerd and you're in a costume, you might want to reevaluate that. Yeah, one. right? Then what are you doing? What are you doing? It's you not best Halloween. Check yourselves before I wreck yourselves. Yeah. Especially because um, even. Well, on the con floor, I encounter this, but especially as a guest, when I'm at a booth, I become sort of an ambassador or spokesperson for cosplay. Right. People will say, what are you? What is a nerd bunny? They what ask are you to you come doing? on the podcast and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> and so forth. So I find myself having to define what cosplay is and sort of justify why I'm at the convention and so forth. Oh, right. But there's some people who recognize the fandoms and they don't really care about the costume and they just want to talk about the fandom sure and then i'll get sort of that fake nerd girl moment where they'll be 
like quizzing me about Dragon Ball Z or something like that. I'm like, come at me. Right. <laughs> Bring a son. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't be able to do that if I chose a costume just because. Absolutely. That's why you don't do. You're like me. You don't do a costume just to do it. You yeah. know what I mean? You have to. You have to care because if you're yeah. gonna spend all day as this character, you need to at least know who it is. Yeah. You know. So. I'm with you. Um, actually, the only character I've done that with is Kasumi from Dead or Alive because um, it's a video game character. I didn't think she had that much background, but I chose a skin of hers that oh is okay. overalls, and it looks really, oh, really, nice. really adorable. I like overalls. I, and it's sexy. I like it. My overalls are not sexy. And someone on Instagram commented on... <laughs> Brian. <laughs> someone on Instagram commented on my picture, and they were like, that's not Kasumi, that's phase four. I was like, what? So I uh -oh. <laughs> I wikied it. <laughs> that works? I, I was like, quick Here. wiki. <laughs> quick. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? And phase four apparently is like a clone of Kasumi who's like evil. Oof. You dropped the ball on that one, Yeah, Brittany. right? And so Ooh. that kind of stuff, it's like, fake your girl. But whatever. But you're like, please, nobody cares about not no. Kasumi. No, the, the, way <laughs> <laughs> the way I took it is like, that person really cares. And I don't, I don't mean to disrespect anybody by doing a cosplay where I don't know a lot about the character, but I prefer to know a lot about it, the character. That makes sense. That so makes I sense. don't get caught in those sort of situations, and also Good because thinking. I like to do the nerding out thing. That's like one of my favorite parts. Right. I can agree with that. Have you ever seen Firefly? No. Watch Firefly. Okay. I think it's on Netflix. Okay. It's only 13 episodes. Yeah, I you heard like it stops short. What? Do you like westerns? Sure. Do I played... Like um, the Good, the Bad, and the Munchkin. It's a Western version of Munchkin. I enjoyed it. Do you, <laughs> do you like space? I love space. Perfect. It's a space Western. Space Western. It's my favorite TV show of Whoa. all time. It's amazing. That kind of reminds me of steampunk, but... It's like steampunk, but not Victorian. It's not in the Victorian. future. In the future. It's like um, the Earth got used up, so we started terraforming other planets. Yeah. And they like revert back to Old West times. Wow. Because there are poor people that like have like run down homes because they don't have a lot of money because they just moved to a new planet. But there's spaceships in it. It's so good. Wow. But you should check it out. At least, you I know should, what? Watch, sure. the, watch the first two episodes and then tell me what you think. Okay. The first one's longer, but it's a pilot, you know, so they got to introduce characters kind of. Yeah. Some people don't like it. I love it, but whatever. The second episode's phenomenal. If you don't like the sep second episode, you probably won't like the show because it's not your bag. Okay. But I recommend it. But I bring that up because the fan base, they're called brown coats. Uh huh. And anytime I see someone with like a Firefly shirt, or something, I'm like, oh, we're brown coats. And I have that moment. Uh huh. Like before I came in here, uh, I w I'm wearing a Firefly shirt. And they're like, oh, you're one of us. I was like, hell yeah, I am. One <laughs> of us. You know, that's the best. It's the best. Finding someone who likes the same things you like is the best thing ever. Yeah, I had the reverse moment of that. Like I was just uh -oh. saying about me choosing a Kasumi skin because it was cute and not knowing about phase four. Right. Um, something like that happened to me. I did a costume. Um, it was the 80s movie, The Goonies. Oh, sweet. The cheerleader character, Andy, one of the only two girls. Her name oh, is Andy. Oh, the one in the, the sweater. The cardigan. Uh, yes, cardigan. yes, yes, yes. Sweater. I'm a man. Sweater, uh, sweater's, sweater's good. Yep. Works. Totally. It's easier to say. Warm. <laughs> you know? Outer layer. Yeah. So <laughs> she had that golden cardigan, which was very hard for me to find. I right. had to dye a different cardigan the right color. Oh, no. But anyway... <laughs> Cosplay problems. Cosplay problems, for real. Uh, I got that costume together because it was a, a horror slash um, science fiction slash pop culture event. Okay. Sweet. And so I was like, what's wrong with the Goonies? It's a cult classic. It was whatever. And so I did the Goonies, and I saw someone walking by with a Goonies Forever shirt. Oh. And I was like, Goonies Forever! <laughs> <laughs> Look who I am! <laughs> who am I? And he was like, uh... And I was no. like, Goonies forever! Who am I? And he was like, I, uh... And oh I was like, no. seriously, dude? <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> I'm Andy you, from the Goonies! <laughs> You're and wearing a like, shirt! <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. And oh, no, like, you didn't even get excited after that? I was like, that? your shirt says Goonies forever! Did you mean Goonies for five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> That's when you take out scissors and cut his shirt off. Be like, you don't get this anymore. <laughs> Goonies never say Chip die. That, <laughs> that was funny. Oh, no. I just like, kept yelling at him, really, really, really excited. And I believe like, it. I've people heard you around yell. me were laughing, but I was like, s I went from like really, really excited to really disappointed. Because <laughs> I was expecting that fan moment to happen. Oh, right. 
So, so like, you, you laid the groundwork for him, and he just yeah. left you hanging. Yeah, I was like, oh, I love the Goonies. I watched it as a kid and stuff. And, right. Um, Corey Feldman was really cute in that movie, and I recently watched him on um, Wife Swap. Oh, yes. He doesn't have a wife. He has a girlfriend, and then two other women who signed a contract to live in his house, and they are all like... So he not calls Wife him, Swap. He calls them Corey's Angels. That's... So he's weird now, but that was the Goonies. <laughs> 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 really cute. That's perfect. <laughs> so, so he's weird now. <laughs> he's on Wife Swap with no wives. <laughs> yeah. But Sean Astin, on the other hand. Hey, hey, I love that dude. That's right. He's he's I'm gonna all be about at Sean he's gonna be at Wizard World. I have to say hi to him. Hopefully, he doesn't see this podcast and right. know that I'm really excited. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. I, I would. In, in if your I brain. Get to see him. If you get to see him, have your moment, and they'd be like, oh, by the way, Jedi Brian says hi. He'll That's be like, right. who? And be like, look him up. <gasps> Just kidding. That's probably not going to happen. But I like to pretend it does. I would have to say that, like, it, when, when people Google Nerd Bunny, I right. say you have to Google Nerd Bunny cosplay or something like that. Because if you just type Nerd Bunny into Google, it's pictures of bunnies with glasses on. <laughs> which is unfortunate uh. for me. In terms of in terms of like search engine optimization. Yep, SEO. That's right. Uh, you type in Jedi Brian into anything, you get me. I bet. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. I'm learning to use Snapchat. I don't have a Snapchat yet. I don't understand it. I feel like one of those like 30 year old people. Yeah, it's like what is the Snaps chat? It's like these fucking kids, and now I'm bitter. Right. I'm not 30, but I feel like that because I just don't want to get another I, social media thing. I'm the exact same way, but I needed the name. I don't want some other dude being Jedi Brian on Snapchat. I bet there's a nerd bunny. That's why I have to do like the nerd bunny, nerd underscore bunny. Why did you pick nerd bunny? That's such a good question that I always stumble on every time. Yeah, yeah. Why it did sounds I put cute. nerd bunny? True, true. Um, I think that I wanted to do something with bunny because uh, my first cosplay was Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon's civilian name is Usagi Su- Tsukino, which means moon rabbit. Oh, um, okay. Nice little nerd bunny trivia. So her name's Bunny. I like it. Yeah. And, and so a nerd. Also, my tattoo is of a bunny. My mom loves bunnies and always has like said that I look like a bunny. That makes sense. You probably eat carrots. I do eat carrots. I love carrots. Bam. You know carrots what's funny about great. Sailor Moon's character? She doesn't like carrots? She hates carrots. What? Yeah. What? Fun trivia. I like carrots. They're good. Yeah, they're good right. for your eyes. Yeah, tasty, That's crunchy. What they say. Yeah. <laughs> let's just, for the next twenty minutes, let's talk about carrots. <laughs> some are long, some are small. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like them cooked? Or I not don't cooked? like them cooked actually. Really, you don't I like cooked carrots? I like cooked carrots. They're okay. Actually, I like carrots pretty much anyway. Now that I think about it. Yeah. But I like a lot of food pretty much. I've anyway. had a dessert with carrot in it, not yeah. carrot cake, but like. I don't like carrot cake. There it is. There's the one thing you of don't carrots like I don't carrot like. Cake? Yeah, that weird. It you like carrot even cake? Taste like carrots. I know, so I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you t- that's like what I, I went to Burger King a bunch of years ago, completely uh-huh. unrelated because I'm ADD. Okay. And um, I ordered uh, a hamburger. Yeah. And I thought it was a hamburger. Didn't realize it was like breakfast time, and it was a <laughs> sausage, right? And yeah. I bit into it, and it was the worst tasting thing of my life. Ew. Not because the sausage was bad, but because I was expecting hamburger. Yeah. You ever had that happen? Absolutely. That was Actually. me and carrot cake. Yeah. That <laughs> happened to me with sparkling water. Oh no! What, what do you think it was? I. Th- I was out on a walk with my friend, and we finally got to, s- to some sort of civilization. And there was a dollar store, and I went in there, and I was like, "Water, oh C no. and D, <laughs> water." <laughs> and my Turned best into SpongeBob. Quasimodo. <laughs> That's SpongeBob when he was in Sandy's dome. Oh yeah, he was drying out. And he needed water. I That's don't my need SpongeBob it. <laughs> I, I don't definitely need don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. <laughs> That's me when I see anything Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. So I needed water. Right. I was dried up SpongeBob, and I grabbed a water out of the cooler that they had near the cash register. I purchased it. I cracked it open and guzzled it, and immediately it all came right back out my mouth before oh. swallowing it because it was sparkling water. Oh, okay. Not like you threw it all back up because like you drank water? it too much. No, I didn't throw it up. I was just like... <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not a fun experience. No, it was disgusting, and I will, <laughs> I will never drink sparkling water again. Oh, it ruined it for you. 
Your soap? Absolutely. I felt like it, I felt like someone had poisoned my water. Was it at least I was the expecting f- cool, refreshing, crisp, <laughs> regular Instead water. Instead, you got seltzer, gross Still water. water. Was it? What kind was it? <laughs> Do you remember? The kind I threw in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> the garbage kind. Yeah. Did it, it was it wasn't those flavored bubbly waters, right? No, if it was flavored, those are pretty I good. think I would have felt better about it because that's more related it to was soda. Just, it was just gross, like club soda. Yeah, that kind of Ugh. like bitter, not water taste that Ew. club soda has. I hate not water taste. Yeah, it's so bad. It's the kind of water that isn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, water doesn't taste like that. Yeah, <laughs> at all. Nope. Oh man, as you can see, we jump around quite a bit. We jump around because I kind of. We went from like, what does cosplay mean to you? To so seltzer water is pretty gross it when you really think it's is. water. <laughs> Fun fact: in Germany, it's the only place outside the U.S. I've been so far. You've been to Germany? I went to Germany. My friend's grandmother died, That's so I got to go with her hmm. to see her family as a consolation prize. <laughs> you you were the plus one to her yeah. grandma's funeral yeah. in Germany, which well, you'd never been. I didn't been. go to her funeral. I just went to see her family. Oh, so you like hopped on the German Express yeah. for the not reason her that they were there. Yeah. So allowed me that trip. So in my brain, your friend's like, hey, my grandma died. I'm going to go see her in Germany. And you're like, how big is your suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> well, th- her family didn't want her to travel alone. Oh, it was just her. Yeah, it was just her. Okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah, so it was me and her, and we were 20 oh, at the so time. Oh, so it's semi-recent. Yeah, semi-recent. Because you're like 21. I'm 24. Oh, me too. Yeah. When's your birthday? So actually, very soon, October 11th. Mm, you're older than me by a lot. What, like several months? Like almost a year. Almost a year. Because you're 25 in like two weeks? Yeah. I just turned 24 in July. Ah. Yeah. A youngin. Yep. So. Uh-huh. So, but you're. There was that. You're 91? <laughs> Correct. Yes. I'm 91 years old. I'm 90. I look great for my age. Me too. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> but that makes me younger. Yeah. If I'm 90 and you're 91. Yeah, so you're born 1990. What? Uh, numbers are weird like that. Numbers are weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's what your favorite number? About? Oh, yeah, in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Say your favorite number in German. <laughs> Nine. Is it really? No. No, that means no. No is your, no is your favorite <laughs> number? Were you denying my question or is your number nine? <laughs> Come on, it's a good joke. <laughs> it is a good joke. I laughed on the inside. Yeah. In Germany, I had to learn. This is the only German phrase I remember other than nine. Uh, I just caught nine. myself in that one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, is stilles Wasser, which means still water, because they give you sparkling water at restaurants. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Stilles Wasser, <laughs> bitte, which is please. <laughs> You're like, first the seltzer water incident, now I can't get away from it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I know um, Danke. Thank you. That's right. You're welcome. And um, Broomhilda. That's a name. A name, yeah. And Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, but right? no. But no. Nine. Nine. Nine, I know nine. And uh, Guten Tag? Guten Tag, good day. And that's all I got. What about good morning? Guten Tag? <laughs> <laughs> guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, really? Is that really it? Mm, yeah. So Guten is good. Yeah. Morgen is morning? Yeah. Morgan's actually my middle name. Is it really? Yep. Another Nerd Bunny trivia. Yep. Nerd Morgan Bunny, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My real name is Jedi Brian. <laughs> it's hyphenated. <laughs> My name is Brittany. Brittany? It's yeah. spelled fun. It is spelled, spelled fun. Different. Thank spelled you for saying it's fun. You're welcome. I always say it's weird, but I like fun is good. I like different. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's not like, you know, an extra Y or something, that'd be weird. No, it's actually extremely simplified in my opinion. I can Brit- agree with that. It's exactly how it sounds. B R I T N I. Six letters, Brittany. B R I T N I. I like it. Someone in middle school came up to me and said, You just spell it that way because you think you're so punk rock. And were you like, Yeah. I was like, It's on my birth certificate. <laughs> Suck it and get away from me. <laughs> the next day you showed up with your birth certificate. Hail Eat it, Lamo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. But my yeah. parents thought they were clever. Named yeah. me Brittany at a time when literally everyone else was named Brittany. Oh, yeah, the 90s. Yeah. It was all Brittany's. Brittany's in, like, Trevor or Travis or something else with a T, yeah. I think. I don't know. I'm named Brian. Jason? <laughs> Jason's pretty popular. Mm. For the 90s? I think, yeah, probably. Probably. 
Brian is probably mid grade popular. It's sort yeah. of just like classic. It's just been around. Yeah. It's a strong name that yeah. just keeps on keeping on. No one's naming their daughter Brittany anymore. That's because there's enough of them. Yeah. All the people that are having kids are named Brittany. That's also a good reason why I have the name Nerd Bunny. People are like, oh, yeah, Nerd Bunny. I'm going to remember that. If I tell them my name's Brittany, they're going to be like, see you later. What's your right? face? <laughs> see you later. Mm. Yeah, that's why Dude. my Twitter handle is Nerd Bunny Brittany. It sounds kind of cute. Oh, uh, that makes kinda sense. Kind of bouncy sounding. That Nerd makes Bunny sense. Brittany. That makes sense. So you're not German? I'm not German. At all. Probably somewhat. Yeah, on it's my one of those side. like European. Yeah. My mom does not know who her biological father is, but on That's all right. on her maternal side, she is some sort of strange mixture of German and English. Nice. Um, so that's like a quarter of me. Sweet. And then the other quarter is a question mark. And then on my dad's side, nice. um, he is half Korean and half a mixture of Polish and Greek. That's a fun combination. So I'm a quarter Korean and nice. three quarters random Europe, Europe stuff. stuff. I feel you. I'm very English and Irish. Yeah, I have a red totally, beard. totally look <laughs> both English and Irish. I've got a giant nose and a red beard. Yeah, so you look the product Irish. of several potato wars. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of alcohol. My organs are made of <laughs> alcohol and <laughs> potatoes. That's right. And the alcohol is made from potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey and beer and sweet tea. That's all I drink. Wow. You need yeah. some water. No, apparently I don't. I, I have don't like need horror it. stories now. I <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> Who even drinks water? It's all <laughs> seltzer to me. <laughs> cool. Did you like Germany? I felt like a tourist. Yeah. Time. In a good way or in a bad way? In a bad way because yeah. what I like about traveling to conventions is I have a purpose when I go. Okay. I go either to network or meet like stars that I want to see. Uh, get your name out at least. Yeah. Some sort of. Or have a table and I get to guest and I get to meet people that way. Gotcha. And um, do my services like cosplay directing or right. um, hosting the cosplay competitions or Panels selling at my and table good stuff. Yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff, entertaining in that way. That way I have a purpose when I go somewhere. But in Germany, we just went to go see her aunt, my friend's aunt, and then, like, travel around and see some sights and stuff like that. Sure. And I felt kind of restless doing it like I like I didn't have a purpose there. Uh, okay. And that was a weird feeling for me. Right. And I was, like, kind of bored with it after two weeks. Gotcha. How long were you there? Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. The exact amount of time right at the end got bored. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I've never been also to Germany. Also, my friend really missed her boyfriend, so she was constantly talking to him on Facebook and stuff uh, like that. I was like, hang out with me. You're like, we're across the pond. Yeah. Do you say across the pond? I have said that. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Did you see I posted a status like a while ago? I no. say across the pond all the time, and some yeah. people are like, I've never heard of that. It's like, what? Where I have you been? I think it's more of like an, like an Anglo phrase. Gotcha. Okay. That's that's fun. I did that. People I've never been to Europe. to England saying across the pond. Correct. Yeah. Yes. I've never been. I want to go. I would like to go as well. I've been to Canada and 12 other countries in the Caribbean. Wow. Yeah, I traveled a bit. Yeah, you do. Do you and go on cruises or something? Yep. Uh-huh. That's how you hit 12. Yep, that's exactly. On three cruises and then drove to Canada, and I've driven through more than half of the states. Awesome. Yeah, I've been yeah. to a lot of states, never been to Canada, never been to Mexico. Those would obviously be the most logical yeah, of geographically the speaking. countries to go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so my passport is, like, really lonely. I hear you. I haven't left the country in quite a few years. Yeah. It's fun. I love traveling. You Me like traveling? Too. Yeah. And I would love to go with a purpose, like, to a con <laughs> or something. What's a place you've always wanted to go? I always wanted to go to France. Really? I studied French like in high France? school. Paris, France? Or just France in general? France in general, but definitely Paris. Yeah? You study French? I did study French. Can you speak French? Oui. Un peu. Oh. Like, actually French? Oui. Okay. Because I'd be like, if somebody asked me if I spoke French, I'd be like, we, oui. je m'appelle Pompelevon. And then I go into Spanish. E, <laughs> e Paris, eh. I fail Tower, Jacques Clouseau, Baguette. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's my French. Uh -huh. I got none of it. I got zero French. Je m'appelle. Brian. There you go. I don't know what you said before, but it was. Donde esta la papel? Right? Wow, yeah. 
I don't know. Th I think it means where is the paper? paper? Yeah, see. Yeah. I'm I'm trilingual. I don't like to brag, but uh, that's false. I can't speak anything. <laughs> <laughs> I barely speak English. I also want to go to Korea. Korea would be nice. I do have some extended family there. Cool. I'm assuming South Korea. Uh, yeah. Cool. It's very possible that I have family in North Korea because the split was only like semi not recent. that long ago. Not like a hundred years I ago. I mean, there's people surviving still who remember one Korea. Right. And right. it wasn't a civil war. Right. It was um, the Soviet Union and the United States that split it in half. Yep. So uh, I would definitely be traveling to South Korea. Cool. Because of the politic political atmosphere. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would not recommend North Korea right now. No. They wouldn't <laughs> want me. Let's just put it that or way. Or anytime soon. <laughs> no. Um, probably not. Yeah. Korea um, would be cool. Korea would be cool. Also Japan. Japan's like everyone's... It just looks so beautiful. Yeah. My, um, my grandmother is Korean, but she grew up in Japan for what? a time. That's so, so she speaks cool. both fluently. What? And my dad actually was born in Korea on a military base in Seoul. Nice. And he grew up several years in Japan. So that's my pretty family, cool. I have influence of both cultures. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, I got none of that. I had my, like, I think it was my great grandmother or something was born in Ireland. The rest of us are, like, country people from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm from. That's mm -hmm. why I don't enunciate uh -huh. usually. Well, I'm from Georgia, so I'm right there with you. I am. What part? Um, suburb of Atlanta and Gwinnett County. Nice. Yeah. So you got the country feel a little bit. Yeah. I never felt connected to the country whatsoever, though. I couldn't yeah. wait to get away from everyone who... You're a city person? At this point, I definitely am a suburb person, but yeah. I enjoy the city a lot. Gotcha. I'm not a city guy. <laughs> like, right now, I live in horse country. That sounds pretty awesome. No. <laughs> <laughs> I lived on a farm before I moved to Florida. So I'm like, I like space. Yeah, I bet. But... Georgia's nice. Georgia is nice. I love Atlanta. Yeah. I got to go there for Dragon Con. That was cool. How was Dragon Con? Dragon Con was Party Con. I've never been. It's an experience. Sweet. We got the wrap up. That was actually pretty awesome. He thinks I'm legit. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon you Con sounds legit. cool. You went with uh I went with people. Ellie Marie and Keeks Cosplay. Sweet. They're gonna and be guests eventually. Definitely should be. Did you meet any celebrities while you were there? At Dragon Con, I did meet a celebrity. It was funny. I was standing outside the hotel with Keek's cosplay. Right. And it was a pylon cosplay. So it was a strange circular foam thing that she didn't even end up wearing. I was waiting outside with it for her. <laughs> and somebody came out of the hotel and he um, said to me, is that a hula hoop? Or are you excited to see me? <laughs> and he uh -oh. was a man in maybe his like 40s or 50s. Okay. And he came up to me asking that question. And okay. I responded, uh -oh. neither. Neither? As in, it's neither a hula hoop and I'm not excited to see you. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, ice cold. And then he responded, ha ha, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and? and? And who was it? So we were talking, and he said that he was there to give panels on, like, Bigfoot and aliens. No. And, like, the Mothman prophecy or whatever. Yeah. That's a movie, I think. But the Mothman, not the yeah. Mothman prophecy. The I don't know what thing. What, I don't know what kind of wingnut stuff he's into. <laughs> That's what I said to him. I was like, oh, so you do wingnut stuff. He's like, yeah, I have a show on the Discovery Channel. The Finding Bigfoot? Finding yeah. Sasquatch dude? Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to California for two weeks, and I saw one celebrity, pseudo-celebrity, and it was the boyfriend of a real housewife of Beverly Hills there on Venice go. Beach. I was like, really? This is my s That's what I get? Yep, that's what you Been get. Been here two weeks, and I get slayed riding a bicycle. <laughs> and I only know that because my girlfriend watched, and I walked down. I was like, who's this guy that everybody hates? Like, oh, it's Slade. Okay. <laughs> He's walking his bike down Venice Beach. That's like, funny. Then I left, and a friend of mine went and ran into a... Uh, one of the dudes from Breaking Bad in the airport. I was like, you've been there 15 minutes? I was there for two weeks. In all the places that they would have been. <laughs> Maybe if you had left the basement. Right? <laughs> I know. If only. Get if out only. of the basement. <laughs> Get. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh That's exciting. This has been fun. That went by. Very that fun. That went by really fast. It's been 45 minutes. Good Lord. Wow. 
but yeah, it's been a pleasure. It. Very fun. Yes. Thank you, Jedi Brian, for Thanks having me. Thanks for on coming your podcast. on, Nerd Bunny. I forgot your middle name. Morgan. Nerd Morgan Bunny. Yeah, That's what it was. Your full Bunny. cosplay. You know, name. Brittany works. Brittany works. You're right. You're right. It does. I take that back. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, thanks, Nerd Bunny, Brittany. Brittany, Nerd Bunny, whichever you prefer. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, Jedi. Brian. <laughs> Jedi Brian. I don't have another name. <laughs> but yes, thanks for coming on. Come back and stuff. Okay. And have fun at Wizard World. Thank you, I will. And I look forward to returning. Yes, stuff. Sean Aston, tell him also I said things. hi. Also things. I liked him in 51st States. Tell him that. Oh my goodness, And Sean Lord Aston. of the Rings. Huff, huff, <laughs> breathing heavily. Huff. You should just get behind him and be like, I can't carry that for you. <laughs> but I can carry you! Let's see what he says. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. He'll probably not enjoy it. Anyway, thanks. Bye and stuff. Bye stuff.